Hello and welcome, dear Happiness Reloaded family. Here we are celebrating one year of Happiness Reloaded. And today's interview will be in English language. So for all the people who are watching in the German interviews, please hold on for the next ones coming up. Um, again, it's nice to have you here. And if you are watching this via replay, you know Hashtag replay, tell me where you're watching from, tell us your questions you have during our interview and ideas, thoughts, whatever you want to share with us. And my guest today is a very special guest. I know my guest as long as the Happiness Reloaded group exists, which is a year, and I am more than happy I have to change that here to welcome Shireen from London. I can see you. Yes, here you are. Hi, Shireen. Hello. Hi, Romana. Good evening. So good to have you, you here. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Uh, great. Thank you so much for your uh, invite and uh, congratulations celebrating the one year of uh, Happiness Reloaded. Thank you. I'm so happy and I'm so happy this works out and I have you here. Um, Shireen, you and I, we met on Facebook because we both have groups and you have a very special group. I really love it and remember the first days of your group very well. Would you like to tell our audience what your group is all about? Yes, definitely. So uh, my group is called Color and Power, uh, Be the Artist of Your Life. And uh, its mission is to empower people through uh, creativity, positive thoughts, colors, beauty. Uh, so basically, uh, people are welcome to join the group and uh, they will benefit from uh, my design, which I post every day. And uh, every day there is a new code which has uh, some positive message in it. And also they discover a new artist who is born on this day or passed away on this day. So has the same, has a certain connection with, with the date. Mm -hmm. As well, people from all al around the world, they share uh, beautiful things around them or artists they are aware of. Uh, so basically, the group is kind of uh, like a, almost like a flower bouquet, you know, you look at it and, you know, it lifts you up. And this is this is uh, the goal of the group. When you are inside, you are lifted up by its positivity and beauty. And I have to admit that is so true because I really love being in your group, especially the daily quotes. I love them very much. And you have it on Instagram as well. Yes, as well. It's on Instagram and Twitter. Ah, I didn't get the Twitter one. Okay. So <laughs> please, as soon as we have finished here with our live, please comment in the comments uh, all your uh, contact infos. So your group, um, Instagram and Twitter, of course, so people uh, who like it can follow you. I will do that. Thank cool. you so much. <laughs> what I really loved um, very much, and you're still do doing that, I think, when you started the group, you just got outside, you're living in London, and yes. you like went live with uh, beautiful scenery, nature in London. And I, I yes, really love true. that. You're still doing uh, that? Yes, yes. Actually, this morning I uh, I, I went live with, because uh, every day I go for a walk or a run. And you know what is great about London? It's full of parks and trees and nature. So uh, whenever I'm passing by something beautiful, I try to either take a picture or, you know, go live. And this morning I, I was lucky to see so many bees and you know different uh, creatures <laughs> and I took some pictures and videos of them. Mm -hmm. That is uh, so, so lovely. Yeah and at the beginning of the actually the launch of the group uh, last summer I went a lot to Regent's Park so the 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 videos uh, that you were seeing were from Regent Park in North London. Ah, okay, so great. 
Um, you are an artist yourself. Yes. Would you like Thank to tell you. us something about your profession and why, how you got to the decision to get a painter? Yes, definitely. So uh, I've been passionate about drawing and painting since I was a child, actually. And uh, my mother, blessed her soul, she used to tell me, I cannot remember that, but she used to tell me then when I was two years old, I would go with my uncle who was the professor at the university and he would go and, you know, in his study preparing and, you know, working and he would take me with him and I would sit on the table and I would stay for like hours just doing drawings. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of these drawings uh, because, you know, we lived in some war and not so much stability and I don't know things were not really kind of you know well taken care of but uh, but this is like one of the memories that my mother used to tell me and uh, I actually my journey with painting started when I started uh, to uh, reproduce art and uh, mostly from books because I don't know if you're aware but like in Lebanon we, we were not so lucky like here, so many museums around us. You can go and see all beautiful, you know, greatest paintings of uh, great painters. But there I discovered uh, paintings through books. And uh, so I would take the uh, books and try from the book to uh, make a reproduction of uh, a painting in oil. And I would make it the same size. So, and I started reproducing first Picasso on small work, and then started Van Gogh, Gauguin, and then went to Rembrandt, although he was not my favorite artist. However, because uh, I thought it was challenging to do the portraits, so I also uh, reproduced a few of his portraits. Uh, so basically, I transformed our our home in Lebanon into like a little museum with all these reproduction of paintings. Wow. And uh, so my dream, yeah. So this this how kind of you know my dream to be a painter started. However, when when it came to decide what to uh, do at university, uh, I took like you know advice from people around me and. The decision came uh, to do interior design instead of art, so I went to do that. Uh, however, my my passion for art was bigger. So once I finished the interior design degree and I worked for two years in interior design, I went to Holland uh, and I started uh, my art journey, like you know, in college again. So I, uh, I restarted studying art in Holland and then we moved to London. So I continued at Chelsea College and then at Kingston, I did my master's. And uh, yes, and then I started doing my own style, you know, developing my own style. And I think one of the major transformation in my art started when I started doing my uh, integrating uh, abstract work with Arabic calligraphy. And I started uh, implementing uh, uh, to put words inside the, the work. And I think this was the beginning of uh, a journey for me because I started to use positive messages. So the painting was not only uh, visual as a, like, you know, visually appealing, but also it has a message. And uh, yes, and the message was uh, about the self, starting to know yourself, like in Arabic, uh, know yourself or uh, honor yourself. Um, and from that, I think it was um, my journey of uh, integrating psychology with painting. Wow, that's an amazing journey. So you told me that those paintings behind yourself are your own your own ones yes are they in in this style already are there uh, words in them no actually the, these are uh, kind of you know a little bit older paintings 
they are from my first uh, university degree actually in Holland because I'm I love music you know and abstract art and these these were inspired by uh, like you know I think this like movement you know people playing so I, I got inspired by uh, people playing sport or dancing and I would create my own uh, composition from that that's wonderful and yeah, so. you did some really inspiring stuff the last year we all had kind of a weird year last year so what what did you do in that last year because that yeah. has to do with the the painting and the good news Yes. So basically, I think it was uh, uh, after, you know, doing my own exhibition, I started also to, uh, I, I created my own uh, platform to give workshop, art workshop for adults and more for children as well. And basically, you know, focus more on the children. But just before actually the Corona started, I was really thinking about my mission and what I really love to do. And I wanted to uh, expand uh, not only from working with children, but also to use creativity as a tool to empower people and to, to send a positive message, not only a beautiful bond, but also, you know, something that can uh, inspire you and help you in your life. And I think since uh, so just this was in January 2020. And then the following few months, I was focusing on creating uh, affirmations uh, that are colorful. And I was planning to deliver these workshops. And Corona came. Mm. So with, with Corona uh, uh, kind of changing how everything is, is working, uh, then kind of it was in a way it coincided with my transformation because uh, here there was a, an opportunity to go online, which maybe I was not so much uh, aware of before uh, going uh, online in that way. And I think uh, through the way we met, as you know, I got encouraged to go online and to uh, invite people to join this this mission of you know empowering each other through color and beauty and positivity and uh, so i opened the platform of uh, the group for color empower and i uh, started uh, connecting more with people and for me as a person who is uh, more by uh, nature an introvert it was like a huge uh, <laughs> I don't know, like transformation for me, because uh, I love people, but I'm more like the shy person, you know. So going online and starting meeting new people and connecting with them, actually, it was really uh, a great experience for me. And I love it because uh, I am not, I, I, I came, I became, became, uh, became not, not so much uh, restricted by my own art to share it with people, but sharing so many other things and the simple things that are inspire me also sharing them with them. Uh, and as I mentioned, like, for example, the discovery of the artist every day and the discovery of a new uh, code every day, these things I use them for myself to inspire me and to make me cheerful every day. And by opening the group, I started using them uh, also and sharing them with other people. And it felt great because it was not only for me, it was also for other people. And I love it. That's so, so wonderful because you have this lovely color code as the header uh, picture of your group with um, one day for every color. And it's really wonderful. And what I joined was a course with you, which was a six weeks course for art. 
color your journey to happiness. Yes, and I really loved it so much because I did some art and painting all my life, but not on a professional level. But that course brought me back to just grabbing my, my little, uh, I don't know what you call that, sketchbook, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and do more paintings again. And that's, um, please tell us about that course because I have to share that. That's what I did today and I love it so much. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's a morning sketch. Yes. <laughs> and then, you know, you, you were so inspiring in that course. Um, please share with our audience uh, what were your thoughts and how, how did you build that course? And... Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. So basically, uh, I, I launched, you took part in the pilot course of uh, Color Journey to Happiness. And I will be launching also the course in uh, maybe four to six weeks time. I will update you once uh, once uh, it, uh, the date is, uh, is open. And uh, uh, so the idea came to, to launch this uh, pilot uh, unique course combining psychology with creativity. Uh, and as I like two years ago, I attended the uh, Unleash the Power Within by Tony Robbins, and I'm so uh, much inspired by his teaching. Uh, so the course idea came from uh, in, uh, a will to integrate his uh, six human needs uh, in a creative way. Because as you know, like in the world of coaching, you have a lot of ideas that you can implement. Uh, however, usually it's not so much connected with a visual thing that you do or creativity. And I wanted to make, merge these things together so that when you create something, it stays with you and empower you, not only uh, uh, it, with your mind, but also visually. So it becomes like an anchor. Whenever you, you, lo you look at it, you remember uh, your power or the things that can empower you and make you happy. And as you mentioned in the, in the group, in the banner of the group, I have these old colors. And actually all these colors of the days, they are uh, indirectly connected to the six human needs. Uh, and so the six human needs or uh, for those who maybe are not aware of uh, them, there are significance, uncertainty, certainty, uh, uh, love and connection, uh, giving and growth. And in the course, uh, I focus on every need and I gave uh, like a creative exercise in which uh, every participant can uh, create a piece of art integrating uh, his or her own uh, six, uh, her own need uh, so the the participant as you discovered has the uh, uh, ability to discover what what are their own specific needs and also explore them uh, contemplate them and then they can also tap into their creative power and this course, it's important for people to know it's not for, it's not meant only for creative people. Actually, it's for people even who think they are not creative because every one of us is creative. And the course uh, goal is to encourage everyone to tap into their creativity in a very uh, simple way uh, with me around them and, you know, I am there helping if they need me uh, because I think many people would love to explore their creativity, but maybe they're a little bit shy. They're kind of standing there um, uh, afraid of making a mistake and, you know, doubting themselves. And this course uh, will kind of ease uh, their, their way of expressing themselves while enhancing uh, their ability to uh, empower their mind as well because as they learn about these uh, human needs and uh, mind power thoughts this will empower their life as well so they have two benefits the creativity and also the coaching yeah 
And that's what, what I um, experienced in that course because, okay, it's one thing to like do a painting every morning, but the other thing is to share it, right? So even for me, it's like, oh, can I share that? Because yes. the others are better like this. You know? And that's, uh, you, you did such a great job with um, telling us that it's not important. The outcome is not important, right? Because what's important is what's going on inside. And to like um, stay on it. And that's the experience I made now that, um, I always have some colors with me, no matter where I'm traveling, and I, I just do it. And there's no wrong or right. It's just, yeah, I did a nice picture. Exactly. Okay. And if, if I don't like it, I just like turn the page around and start again. So that's <laughs> <laughs> exactly because yeah. basically, it it what what usually stops us from you know sharing or doing is we tend to judge our ourselves or you know our outcome a lot, and it's not really about the outcome. It's about you know putting what you have in your mind and in, in your emotion on papers. And this is the real experience. It's not about the final outcome. Oh, is, did you make a masterpiece? Did you make something beautiful? It can be something beautiful, but even if it's not, it's not an issue. The experience uh, is in doing it and enjoying that you are connecting with your inner self and your creativity. This is uh, the main experience from the course. And as you mentioned as well, the, the power of the community. So it, it, being together, create an atmosphere of uh, uh, lucky, uh, a, a stronger creativity because some people who are a little bit shy and as they started to share and they see that other people, oh, they like their, their, uh, their work and they comment and they encourage them. They actually are very much encouraged to produce more. And this is something uh, uh, for me as the first time I was delivering this course was really uh, uh, new and I, I loved it, uh, this community uh, that I created through the course. Uh, because also, as you see, as you share more, maybe vulnerable stuff, you, you get even more closer to each other because you discover that everybody is sharing and nobody's really perfect in the end. And it's not a problem. What is important is that we are producing and we are creating and we are enjoying the journey. Yeah, that's so true. And... As you said, it was your first online course, the first online course you did. Um, because I always ask my, my um, guests, um, did it take, did you have to be brave to do that step? So how would you think about yourself? What did it take you to like, say, okay, oh yeah, here is Corona. Uh, we have no chance to meet now. I, I do an online course. What was the biggest <laughs> challenge? <laughs> yeah, it, took, it, it did not come out of the blue. Definitely, it took uh, it took more time, I think, than I even you know expected. It took a few months to come to the idea and to come to you know uh, how is this is going to happen and come through. And uh, as I I work mostly by myself. So there is nobody behind me telling me, oh, now we have to do it. Or so I have to be my own manager, as you know, yourself as well. So, uh, so basically the main uh, uh, trigger or can you say the final uh, <laughs> launching came once I decided about the date. And I think, uh, you know, once I decided about the date, that was it, you know, and published it as well on the group and I saw that people were interested and the course had to start. Yeah. So uh, yes, it was not, it was not uh, a very uh, kind of smooth <laughs> transition, but I, I really enjoyed it. Uh -huh. I'm looking forward to, 
to the official launch and to have more people on board because the more also people that they take the course and they uh, they enjoy it the more i uh, i see also how can i develop it more towards uh, empowering more people in the future mm-hmm. yes so um if you are watching my dear audience now via replay or live and you are interested in the course then please leave a comment so Shireen can contact you directly and of course um, I will tell uh, the moment you know when your next course starts I will put the data in here in my group so people know about it and so we are we are almost over with our time but I have one more last question which is very important for me. Um, If someone's now out there and and says like, oh, I always wanted to do some arts. I always wanted to paint or do some sketches or whatever. What's your best advice you would give people who still struggle with the beginning? Like, should should I buy just pencils or oil paints or what shall I do? <laughs> What's your advice for just to get started? Just to get started. I think uh, maybe just, you know, uh, if they if they have any pen, they can just start. They don't need really even colors, you know, to start. Because the whole idea is about just, you know, beginning. Once you begin and also you, you uh, put on the side your judge in your, the judge in your head, with uh, who is trying to stop you this is the most crucial moment now the second thing if people would like you know to have color they can just you know buy some watercolor and also like online there are plenty of things that you can just open and search on youtube if you want to imitate something but this is not the thing the main barrier is really usually yourself Mm-hmm. Uh, you just need to start and you can start with any simple thing you don't need to don't think too much about creating uh, something from your imagination or something uh, like you know uh, amazing just you know look at the fruit you have and put it in front of you and try to contemplate it and if you like part of it try to draw it look at your finger you look at you know simple things around you look at your flowers you know in the in the park or you know take a leaf from the park and bring it back home Uh, so painting and uh, drawing is really a lot about being mindful of things and i think the exercise of drawing things and uh, it helps you to be mindful because you are looking and then trying to to do it if you are copying and if you don't want to uh, copy or do realistic thing also try to uh, just sketch and explore what you have because everybody uh, has different needs and different ways of expressing it doesn't matter the most important thing that you do and the more you do the more you will discover because this is how it goes. Even me, like, you know, I used to do, uh, I did once a project with my daughter where I was drawing every day, one drawing with her, and she did the same. And because I was drawing every day, my drawing improved. And when I stopped, my drawing also, they go backward because it's all about practice, Mm -hmm. you know? It's like with everything. If you don't practice it, you don't get better. And with art, you need to do. The more you do, the more you discover how you can develop your uh, your art and you know explore things better. But don't don't stop yourself. Just start. This is my message. Oh, thank you. That is encouraging. I I love it. Thank you so much. And thank you for being my guest today for celebrating one year of happiness reloaded with uh, me and our audience, the Dear Happiness family. And for all of you, as I said, if you are interested in Shireen's courses or the group, the links will be in the comments within the next minutes. And that's all I, that's left to say. Thank you so much for being here, Shireen. 
and thank you so much for watching everybody out there have a lovely evening thank you so much.